Hello, welcome back. It's another Sewing Notion Sunday, and if you are new to the channel, a warm welcome to you. My name is Angela, and I enjoy doing art, paper crafting, junk journals, DIY projects, and thrifting for vintage treasures. And this is just going to be a Ruby warning because she is here. Yes, I said your name. And she's wanting some attention, so I think I'm just going to have to stand up for this video so she doesn't keep hopping up here and giving me loves. Why don't you go lay down, baby girl? Today, a shout out to Veronica, Christina's Creations, and my friend Carol at Lily Rose Blue. Both Christina and Lily Rose, aka Carol, have channels that you'll want to check out. And today's Sewing Notion Sunday really isn't going to be doing any creation of something, but I thought it would be awesome to finally get out this. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> it's humongo. And it's about six inches deep. And I have been talking about doing a fashion and sewing journal, two different journals, but for a very long time. So I have been loading up all of these things just as I find them in my thrifting adventures. If I create something, I just stick it in that, that bin. It's in my closet with all of my projects uh, that I have not yet started. And I thought pretty soon the Tea Time Cottage Journal is going to be done. And I would like to do uh, either a sewing book or a fashion book or a little bit of both. I'm not really sure. But in order to do that, I need to figure out what I've got. So I have no idea what's even in here because this is like probably three years of me <laughs> collecting things. So I'm going to start with this. Now I have one of these on my shelf up above me. I have, let's see, I have kind of a whole collection of all of the Better Homes and Gardens books from the cookbooks to the sewing, the garden, the decorating, the handyman journal, a couple handyman journals and a couple decorating journals. And this was an extra sewing uh, binder that I wanted to do for a journal. So let's just take a look. Is this not fantastic? I mean, come on. It still has its an original. This is in great shape. Uh, and it's got <clears throat> all of the pages. Now, if you watched the way that I do my cookbook journals, you know, I try to leave some things in there, things that might be helpful to somebody who's, in that case, a, you know, somebody who's cooking. Uh, in this case, someone who is a seamstress or wishes to be one. And then I take all the extra pages out and then those pages go into um, a bundle for the recipient of the journal so they can make more journals if they want. So it's really kind of a win-win. So this is going to be one journal. So this I do know. <laughs> but what we need to do is start looking in what is in this box. So I think what I'll do, the easiest thing, is to just kind of open it up and kind of peruse, see what we got. I do know, like, I have a bunch of things that are kind of fresh, like in the last year. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Would that be... Yeah, you can see them a little bit better. So we did these on one of our videos. This is just a vintage um, reproduction of an advertisement. This I did. I don't think I did this on camera, but it's... Oh, this is just from a magazine, I think. We have the purse, which I thought would be cute to use in the journal. This we did together when we were making uh, like items. So I'm trying to do, like if I'm using one color, then I've got kind of sets, matching sets. So I had this one and let's see what's in here. We've got a pocket, we've got a tag, another tag that could go with um, travel too. A journal card. We've got this we created. Well, I guess I didn't. Did I do anything with it? Oh, I was going to, when it goes on to something, this is going to be a pocket. This is an old vintage greeting card. And then uh, this will be a top pocket. 
and I think this will be a side pocket and then will be a back one too. So <clears throat> that one, we did these. This is one of my favorite projects from 2022 where we used our sewing patterns and then we used uh, book pages and images from books to create that. We did this on camera where I used the, on the dusted off do-overs, my wood burning tool. And so we used that. We made these on camera during Sewing Notion Sunday. Here's some more. We probably, I don't know if we did these on Sewing Notion Sunday or if I just did these. Well, those got some fun dangles too. Uh, this, I do not know. This one opens up. And then, oh, and it opens up again. And it's a tag. I've got this little one. This one I did not very long ago out of one of those boxes, which I had on my sale last week. And somebody snatched that up, but I will have more eventually. So we've got some ephemera. And one thing I'll have to do when I get into this is, so we'll just make this our ephemera pile over there. Is figure out like, what do I need? And what do I already have? Okay. That really doesn't go in there, and I'm not sure where this came from. Okay, so this needs to be re refiled. So I kind of have, like, fashion and Paris, like a French journal. This is all Paris. Ugh. Okay, let's just make that. We'll make this, like, Paris. This is more clothing. This is more Paris. Oh, here... We made these on Sewing Notion. This isn't one I've made, but it looks like. I made a mini journal. Okay, so we've got an entire journal. This needs to be uh, covered. That's probably why I had it out. And I had these little yo-yos with it to use in there. Oh, I remember. I was going to do a black, um, red and black and white journal. Okay, so do we have a whole journal? <laughs> what do we got here? Let's see. What in... Okay, she's not here, so I'm going to sit down for a minute. <laughs> as soon as she hears my chair rolling, she'll probably come running. All right, so we've got another tag. We've got some little... These were from my Flow magazines, but a little cards that we can use. We have another one. These are all Saturday Evening Post. These are Norman Rockwell pieces that I must have thought worked for fashion, and they do. So we'll put this with cards as well. Oh, there's another one I've already finished. Okay, so we got some cards. What's this? Oh boy, here she comes. This is just paper. This doesn't really... This needs to be rehomed. This is for, I have on my finger, die. This is the, more of that box I made into a journal card, so those are done. This is Dallas, Texas, which, mm, it's kind of a stretch for this one, but I think I'm going to leave it in here because, uh, da what's this one? This just looks like a downtown somewhere, which is kind of shopping-ish, but... Uh, they have, if you're not familiar, not, it's not the only market, but, uh, you know, you can go buy clothes, home decor. It's for retailers and such. So, yes, I went there once and I was so excited. Rhea had a cheer competition, I think. And I'm like, oh, it's perfect. We can go to uh, market. Yeah, it was a month early, so that didn't work out. These are just stickers with Paris. We're going to put this with the Paris stuff um, because we can use the Paris items. These must be from another journal or something or a book that I did. Oh, my goodness. These are awesome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I must have taken a book apart. Wow. It almost looks like the sewing journal, but it's not. Okay, so we'll just put those there. What's this? Oh, these are old. I should probably... These are lens cleaners. I should probably 
um, what is it? Scan them. Star Twist. Oh, yeah, I should do that. What's this? Washing Directions. Wa use warm water with ivory soap. I don't know what this is for, but it does say. Oh, here. Hemingway's Montauk Silk Floss. Okay, we need to put these somewhere special. Probably I'll put them in a little bag so I know that I need to file these. What do we got in here? Oh, this has some sewing stuff on it. We got some snaps, another tag, and a journal card. Oh, this was the one I made with uh, with lace, and I made a little dress out of it. I know it's hard to see. All right, well, we'll just stick those back in there. Those can go over here. Oh, this. This is, it looks like a pattern. Yeah, it looks like a pattern, Rubes. She does not like it, but it's just a journal. So really, this could be, this is all it was, was just a blank journal inside, and I got it, I don't know, I'm thinking I got it at a thrift shop. But this would make, this could make a cute altered book. We could actually just do a small one. It's all bound with thread. So we'll make that a journal. <laughs> well, there we go. And of course, we couldn't have a sewing fashion journal without Miss Sewing Susan. This one doesn't say Sewing Susan on it, but where are we going to put that? This can be other ephemera. Oh, oh here's Sewing Susan. <clears throat> and apparently, um, no, nope, this is Happy Home. But this came from, you know, somebody on the street who was um, looking for donations. This I picked up at a thrift shop a while ago. Let's see, can you see? So the vacuum is running and she does not like it. Uh, it's different, but I think it could be something cute. And I think some of them we can use for the pages. So we'll put that with that. What is this? More sewing. Yep, more sewing needles. That's cute. Made in Western Germany. Now, Arthur Murray's Dance School. I wonder if it says who... It doesn't say who the... I took dance lessons at one time with my ex many years ago. So before my children were born. Uh, and... They had a, the, this couple had been doing it forever and they were, oh gosh, in their 80s, I think. Fantastic little couple. But I was like, I wonder if they were the ones that did this. What is this? The Perfect Hostess by Nancy Prentice. This almost seems like it should go in my, yeah, this should probably go in with not fashion, but more my cookbook journals. Okay, rehome. What do we got here? We got Dear Abby. I don't really know why these are in there. Well, the Collier should be in there. But Dear Abby, let's see. These need to be rehomed, but this one works. This one should be rehomed. This is a prescription for medicinal liquor. A facial soap. That one will work. Time to retire by Fisk. Okay, quick, Henry. The flit. Nope. We can use that. We can use that. It's more food. Okay, these are all going to get rehomed. And this is more just stuff we can make. Ugh. Anyway, vacuum's going, and she's up, I can hear her up there growling. She doesn't like it. Fifth Avenue and 42nd. Okay, we're just going to start a pile, because it looks like I've got more. What do we got here? Oh, my. Lots. So we can use that for backgrounds. Look at them. I wonder, though. They may be too big for 
for the sewing journal, but they would be good for a fashion journal. We can find, oh, the Vix, versatile Vixen. She's got Betty Davis eyes. What's on the back, anything? Errol, is that no, Clark Gable. Look at how cute that is. All right, all of those. Then we have all of these. This looks very Parisian, doesn't it? I'm gonna put those with the yes for fashion. Oh, these are fun. Fashion, fashion. There's some music that we can work with that. Oh, look at those darlings. Okay, so just put those there. Now we have more. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take a while. I have to tell you because I got it's packed. <laughs> like I said. So one thing. Oh, this is the other side of these girls. the 30s and the 40s. The Lovas. Dolores Costello and John Barrymore. More actors. Greta Garbo. Oh my goodness. Look at that fur coat. Well, that would keep you warm. And the raccoon coat. Oh, I love this one. The Flappa. Wow, that's neat. This book belongs to, doesn't really seem like it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That needs to be rehomed. I don't do fashion, I am fashion. Well, of course. Chanel, oh, this is all Chanel from a magazine. I don't know what one. More Chanel. Oh, we got a work basket. This is nice for a sewing journal for sure. All right, so this can all go with... Well, we put the coloring book there too. We'll put that there. Here's one of my... Well, here's one of my covers that we did. We did this on one of our Sewing Notion Sundays. This was that, what we can do with our, so we got another cover. This can be a cover. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we got another cover. You know what I should do with some of these? Let's, I have some other covers and I am going to put it over here and I'm going to bundle them. I don't know what that is. This is an over the page piece. So we'll put that there. Oh, we got more snappies. We'll just leave this in here as we'll put it over here. Okay, now we got more. We did all of these in that uh, sewing notion. That's just a mini journal or in the um, what to do with your sewing pattern. So these are all finished. I love these. These are so fun to do. We got a ruffle. Put that over here. Journal card. And then we have all of these that are already sort of fussy cut. So we'll put those over here too. And then we have some stickers. And some paper. I don't know about the paper. We'll put the sticker there. What's this? Well-behaved women seldom make history. Well, so what is in here? Embrace all that is you. So it's like there's a little quote every one, once in a while and then paper. So these would make great journal cards. All right, so let's put that there. Look at this one. I, this one I hauled at a in a thrift haul recently. Barb Swallow or bar, the Barn Swallow in Okaboji. But look at this. This is so cool. Oh yeah, that's screaming some fashion. Look at those. Oh my goodness, this is 
years worth of Deco Della Valle. Okay, well, that's a big one, so we need to put that, we'll just put it over here for a second, because what do we got here? We got some compacts, so I'm thinking we'll put that there. This must have been something I thought would work. I love these that already have the magnet on it, so this is really, a, could be, oh, goodness, oh, well, hmm, so these are all, is this a post-it note? Yeah, post-it notes, notepad, and then this is a pocket, obviously never used, so probably a journal. Oh my goodness, we got this, we got, I've got tons of these, um, Put that over there. Well, we have... This is Dolly. We got Dolly Dingle in here. What's she doing in here? And it looks like this might be cooking stuff. I think at one point I had some... I, I kind of had it as home and garden, if you will. Well, Jem will go with that. This is more cookbook type stuff. All right, so Dolly makes a cake and pudding needs to go with. These tags just need to go in the finished tag that, that aren't really with either one of those. So those need to be rehomed. I got my stack of rehoming is getting pretty big here. Okay, let's put that bag out of the way. What else? If you loved. Yeah. I loved you, Carousel. I'm trying to think why this was in here. I don't know. Irving Berlin. Okay, why did I have this particular music? Okay, this one's Parisian, so we'll go with that. Oh, the Muppets. The Rainbow Connection. Okay, these need to go somewhere else. They just need to go with my music. I have a bunch of these, and I wonder, I don't know that they're in here. I wonder what I did with them. But I have these, a bunch of these. And I don't know where I got this particular one. This one I might have thrifted. Um, but they're all paper dolls. But I have, and I need to remember that. But I have them from all different eras. Let me look, because that's now I'm curious. I'm gonna take all of these just to get them out of the way. I mean, we can keep adding to them, but I'm gonna just get them off camera and I'm gonna put them in this bag for now. So we have a little more space. Okay. Let me look here really quick. Oh yeah, here they are. Oh my goodness, and I have a lot. I won't go through these all, but I'll show you. So I might put this one with that. These are fashions of the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, Christian Dior. Oh my goodness. Now these are not old. These are, and Chanel. Okay, let's see if she'll fit in there. And we'll just put her back and I just have them in a. What do you call this? <laughs> Magazine rack. Okay, there. Now that's all together. Okay, so this is more sewing. Put that with that. Ooh, bargain parade. Oh, yeah. When is this from? Seems like the 40s. 1938. All right. Well, that's fun. Got this. I'm going to move this for the meantime. Eggs in Easter Best. That seems like it needs to go in. Well, no, we're going to leave it in fashion. More things. So see, some of these are pretty big, so it will depend on what kind of journal we do, but 
I've got some big binder journals with bigger pages. All right, this is all, oh, this needs to go with my home stuff. This one needs to be redone. That should go with cooking. New cream tint for your hair. Cotton and lace Easter dresses. Oh, look at that. Higby's Basement Store, 1960. On Cherry Street. Where's this at? Does it say? Hmm. I don't know. More fat. Oh, look at this. I have some of these that are digitals that I love. She's looking very sporty. Okay, we got tons of images, so that's not going to be... Oh, look at this. That's not going to be a problem. Oh, my goodness. This is old. 1925. Okay, these are things that are beautiful, but I have several of them over there. These are ones that I'll probably never cut up, but I can scan them and use the copies. So we're going to put this in a safe place right over here with my other ones. I have another one of those that was from April as well. It was the year that my grandma was born and I kept it. Okay. Quaker has some special. Oh, well, that's, I've never seen one like this. Obviously, I have because I bought it, but it's a pattern that was mailed with an advertisement. We have another. I have a whole thing of patterns, so I'm thinking I should take the patterns, the full patterns, and I think those are the only two I have, and put them back with my patterns. Uh, this, I just thought, looked very Parisian, so we'll put that over here. Whoops. Now I'm making a bigger mess. I'm losing my space here. All right, that's going to go back with the patterns. Okay, why these are in here, I'm not sure. So, yeah, there. this obviously must have been at one time I was doing, putting cookbook and... So, we got recipe cards. These are very summery, I think, yeah. What's this? This is all, this doesn't go in here at all. Well, this one does. I don't know how this all ended up. I probably just opened it up and put it in there. These need to be all right, rehomed. This is directions to something. We're back in my close to my heart days. All right, all of that needs to. Well, June would be kind of fun to keep because, you know, think about a June bride. All of this does not go. This can go there. Traditional favorites. Guessing this is going to be... A, oh, this has already been started. I don't remember doing this, but I did. <laughs> this is the start of a journal, which that would be good for... Okay, so maybe this is the first one, and I think I wanted to keep it as it is. But it does look like it's cracked a little bit there, so maybe... Maybe we'll start on this journal and then we can make it kind of large. So let me put this on. Oh, Lord. We got more. We got another journal cover, I think. All right. We have some girls. These are from Close to My Heart. And then all of this. Stickers. This is just paper stickers. This stuff really doesn't go. I don't know why these would be in there. Habit trackers. Uh, 
That doesn't need to be in there. Maybe that would match for colors. I don't know. This is really old. And then just some paper. Okay, well, let's just put all of this. Put this with our ephemera. That's going to stay there for a minute. These, I haven't done one of these in a long time, too. And I know you can't see this very well. This is... Um, like a school binder. And then you could tuck things in. I've done one other one like this. So I should finish this one up too. And this one doesn't really have to be fashion. Let's just pull it to keep this out. And let's, I think we can finish this off fast and we don't have to, we don't have to have it as a fashion journal. Okay. So you know what? After I've cleared this all out, I don't have nearly as much. I mean, I still have things that probably need to go in it, but We've got this stack. I feel like I have no papers and things like that. Um, this is all kind of Parisian. So we're just going to keep this all clipped together. But I want to kind of keep it in here because that, that's how I'm going to remember it. All right. So now at least we know kind of some of the things we have to work with. These are all cards. Let me see if I got a rubber band here. You don't have to get up. I'm not... I'm not getting in your way. So I got those. <laughs> now I've got this huge one that has to all be rehomed. I'm going to put these in here too. And we've got this can go in here. And then these, all of this seems like it needs to just go in one. I've got another Ziploc over here. I'm going to leave these here. I think they'll be fine in this Ziploc. And then when I go to do my journal, I can... scan them. Alright, so we got these two bags. Those can go back in. Well, we did a really good job of cleaning that out because this is how much we have. We just have the two bags, that small stack, the journal cover, and I know you can't see that very well, and then all of those papers. So it's much more manageable now. And then I can start making some more ephemera to go with it, but I still need to do all this, so I'm just gonna do it really quick. This can go in my scraps, so can that. Well, we may use these in another project. I'll put those over here. Um, all right. What is this? This might be something that we can use. This was a... This is old. Because it's all falling apart. This was a template, but I don't think I really need it. We'll keep this for the templates. This one just, I'm, it's gone. <laughs> there we go. We'll put it up there with the templates. Those I'm going to get rid of. I made those years ago. This one, I'll keep this for 4th of July for cookbooks. It's kind of summary. These are all little kits that I did. And I love that um, paper. So we'll make that summer summer journals. What else? These, these can go right behind me after we're done here. We know we're putting all of our patterns back. Oh, I forgot my shoe book. That needs to go in the box. Um, this is more cookbook. So we got cookbook, cookbook. These two need to be rehomed. And I have a little stack that I got to go through with some other stuff. Um, this one I'm going to put back in the box because it is Parisian, but the rest of them, these are all music, cooking, cooking, she needs to go back in the box. 
These are all journal covers to finish. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> this I'm going to put these with cooking as well as this. This one can go back in there for a journal. So put that there. And this one that's already made. And then we have these pages that I'll have to figure out where to put those. I'm going to put these all back in that tote as well as the sewing book. And we should be good to go there. And I still have room. Okay, so once I'm off camera, actually I can take these really quick and put them right over here in my cookbook journal area, which I always keep that not out, but I keep it. These are going to get rehomed, I think. And then I'll do these. These are in the family room. Remember, remember with all my things. Music, music. We'll just put the music right here with those other music. And this goes in with my scraps that I have actually out for my next video. And I think we're just going to keep, well, these are kind of travel-ish, so we'll put those with the travel stuff. And then I only need to figure out what to do with these two items. I think I might use these in another project too. And this guy is just so cute. It's getting rehomed too. Um, I don't know what to do with this. So that'll be a th thought for later. All right. Well, you guys just helped me roll right through that. And this is going to, let's see, when is this airing? Well, obviously on Sunday, it'll be on the 22nd. So here is what is interesting. You're seeing this after yesterday's video. But my intent is... I need to go through and kind of figure out for the sewing journal, you know, what more I need. Because there wasn't a ton. I need some tags. I need some belly bands. I need all those things. But I also have this whole entire guy full of not finished ephemera. And so I have lots and lots of stuff and embellishments out. So I just want to have a play with that. And... It's a good thing for me to do today. So I think that's what we will do. So weirdly, you're going to see Sewing Notion Sunday before. I may be able, won't be weird to you because I guess there's no real correlation. But um, I am going to be working on just getting some stuff done. And I think what I will focus on is I'll work on... Um, sewing or fashion pieces, cookbook pieces, and we'll just see what else, what other stuff I have out, and we'll just go from there to kind of build that up, and then we can put them in those boxes. So with that, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Until then, remember to take time to just be. Cheers. <laughs>